Morning, Alida. What award are you presenting this morning? Well, Pam, as you know, we're here on the first day of the Courage to Lead Summit. And I'm standing here with my dear friend, Musakua, who is the first recipient of the Eleanor Roosevelt Achievement Award for Leadership in Human Rights. And it is the first time we've given this award, and we are giving it to Sokoa, as this says, if I may read it. It says, in recognition of her vision of a world where people are respected, in honor of the courage she displays in holding the powerful accountable, and fighting alongside those whose lives are at risk, the Eleanor Roosevelt Project presents Musakoa with the Eleanor Roosevelt Achievement Award for Leadership in Human Rights. And very well deserved. Absolutely. And the one thing that I would like to say is this um, uh, fan, this necklace, is the part of the award that Sakua can carry with her at all times when she knows that the hearts of those who are at this conference stand with her as she leads. And it was made by a jeweler who now um, has reclaimed the jail cell in the United States that housed the suffragists who were forcibly fed when they demanded women's rights to vote. So it was a perfect way to honor Sakua's courage and her political leadership. Very good, thank you. And I, I might add that this is a symbol for me of courage of all the women in the world when I walk to prison because I am faced a, 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 with a charge um, for defaming the Prime Minister and I will be judged by a court that is corrupt, that is not independent, but I have chosen to go to jail.